If you've been following this channel for the past month, you will notice I've been sharing a lot of positive information about Cubic. And I've noticed there are a lot of influencers out there spreading only the positives about Cubic and <laughs> spreading only the positives about many other cryptos. Generally, they're just moon boys trying, trying to moon these, these cryptos, I think. And yes, there are a lot of positives to share about Cubic and that's why I've been so into this cryptocurrency and I will continue to share those positives but I want to be a lot more balanced on the subject. My mission here is to share news not to pump projects. I want to educate people, help people out, learn myself and learn together. So in this video I'm going to share the things that I'm uncertain of with Cubic and that could potentially be viewed as negatives. <laughs> Okay, before we get into it, I just want to say that I'm very bullish in Cubic and it does appear to be a great project. On paper, the project sounds amazing. The project was created by Sergi Ivan Ceglo, who already helped create the successful projects NXT and IOTA. Sergi has been talking about Cubic since 2013, so this is no flash in the pan creation. This was planned for a long time. Cubic development team boasts that the Cubic network has the following capabilities. Feeless transactions, smart contract capability, it can process 40 million transactions per second, which would make it the fastest crypto platform out there by far. It is a useful proof of work platform, meaning it actually makes use of mining energy. It trains artificial intelligence and it builds artificial neural networks using what is called Agart with the eventual goal of combining the mining power and Agart to create the first artificial general intelligence. Now I think th th that definitely sounds pretty amazing. I think that this is going to be most likely a super profitable project to invest in right now but time will tell if, if this is true and I don't have actually have any real true negative thoughts or opinions in Cubic. I instead have some mild concerns and grey areas that I'm uncertain of. I honestly have looked into Cubic so much over the last few, few months and I've been excited by it but I've tried to maintain just this balanced point of view. I always want to look at the positives and negative sides of a project. I don't want to be a moon boy, but equally I don't want to fold a project just for the sake of it. So there were a lot of things I was uncertain about with Cubic, but once I researched each aspect of Cubic, I answered most of my own questions as I was going along. So I've really just come up with three very small potential negatives, and these are those potential negatives. So the first one is, what if it doesn't work as advertised? And that's, that's the biggest one. Then the second one is, the creator has discussed the price, you know, price potential in the past. And then the, the last one and the third one is, what if the coin doesn't grow in value as we expect, even if it even if it is a great project? So let me just break down my thoughts on these three areas. So let's begin with, what if it doesn't work as advertised? So what if Cubic doesn't actually work like we've been told? For example, what if it can't achieve 40 million transactions per second on the main net? Because this has only been proven in in testing so far. What if Agart never works? And what if it actually suffers from some scalability or decentralization issues, which is potential, potentially possible because it's not a stress-tested platform yet. Now, I'm not a technical person with a deep understanding of the te technology that underlies most crypto projects, but it does seem that Cubic is working as advertised at the moment and is developing at a fast pace. And this question, and by that I mean the question of what if this platform doesn't work as advertised, that question, you could really, or at least I really have that question generally about any crypto project. For example, Ethereum right now doesn't really come close to working as it's been advertised and neither does Bitcoin. And even Solana seems to be suffering with many issues in terms of scalability and security. And you know, you can look through the whole list of crypto projects and most of them are suffering in some shape or form in that they're not quite performing exactly as expected or still not proven that they will perform exactly as, as expected. So Cubic already seems to be working better than most projects and it has a strong team behind it. So also signs point to it working fine. But again, when you look at Ethereum, it's got 4,500 projects built on top of it. It's getting properly stress tested. Only time will tell as Cubic goes through those stress tests how it's going to perform. Right now, all we can do is just have hope 
and the marketability of the price. To be honest, probably by the time it gets stress test, tested that much, I'm hoping it'll have gone up a lot by then and I'll have sold most of my bag anyway. On to the next point. So the creator has discussed price uh, in the past, so the price of Cubic in the past. And you might be asking yourself, well, why would I find this an issue? And the reason is because this sort of rhetoric can draw regulatory eyes. I mean, once regulators hear of a project creator that's over a project trying to talk about the price and in you know think that they're trying to influence the price next thing regulators are you know going to have a field day with that and right now regulators are clamping down on projects across the board and it's only going to get worse over the next next few years so that would raise a bit of a red flag get for me but you know i don't really see this as being an issue with cubic because it's a completely fair launch project and it is very decentralized as is classically considered decentralized by regulators like the the sec it's as decentralized as bitcoin is right now and as ethereum was before moved to prove a stake so really if regulators stick to what they've been saying so far this shouldn't draw regulatory eyes so i don't see it as a major problem but i always prefer to not hear crypto creators discussing you know price predictions or potential prices but then again you know you've got elon musk constantly seems to be kind of throwing ideas out of what where price can go and manipulating things so it's probably not a big issue but just a mild red, red flag for me and then of course there's this her point which is what if the coin as in cubic doesn't grow in value and again this isn't a cubic specific question but more of a question that can be asked of the crypto market in general so we're obviously in the middle of a bull run right now and all conventional wisdom would sh- suggest that that, that bull run run will continue at least until the end of 2024 and you know possibly into 2025 but nothing is is ever guaranteed in crypto though but most likely this market will grow a lot over 2024 and then possibly into to, to, into 2025 um you know some people would say that this is a left skewed uh, cycle and maybe we're coming close to near the, the end of the cycle i don't necessarily agree with that but you, you never know in crypto these are very manipulated markets at the end end of the day so you know if the market does grow then cubic with its sound fundamentals should increase a lot of a lot in value and if cubic can deliver on its promises it should be one of the best performers of this market cardano and solana were two of the best performers of the last cycle because they advanced crypto technology they like kind of bitcoin was the original then you had things like um you know ethereum came out and that was kind of the the next level and then cardano and solana were the next level on from ethereum or at least perceived to be that you know a lot of people wouldn't agree that they were but they were perceived to be the next evolution and now for that reason we've got you know projects like tau cas and cubic and again i'm not trying to say that they're definitely the next evolution or they're correctly termed as the next evolution but that's where the market's viewing them they're viewed as the next evolution as maybe the level three step in in the evolution of the market so you'd expect those three cryptos to be top performers um in this market and you know even if cubic can't achieve all it has set out to do for example maybe agar doesn't work as planned and it's just a failure and maybe it can't achieve artificial general intelligence you know which is a huge as- as- aspiration that it has and maybe it doesn't even perform well with training uh, artificial intelligence even still if it can run 40 million transactions per second, it can have feeless uh, transfers, it can run smart contracts, it's still going to actually be the best project out there, especially because it also sat- satisfies the, the areas of the, the trilemma. You know, let's be cautious here too. There's there's currently only one app released on the Cubic network. Um, so this is really early days here. And, you know, that is both a positive and a negative thing. It's really positive in the regard that we are still early, but it's a negative in regard that we were we still haven't got proven information on how this project is performing and it hasn't been stress tested yet so the conclusion i have with all this and i hope and i'm sure you guys realize that i'm not trying to fud cubic in any way i think you know any strong belief in anything is built on questioning and trying to find gaps first so gaps in this project for example and then as you you question those things and you answer your questions your belief becomes stronger and stronger and my conviction and belief in cubic is becoming stronger and stronger each day as i i study more on it um i have a lot of incomplete thoughts that i just want to share with you guys to help 
you know, all of you and to help me at the same time just to understand the markets better um, and just to help you guys make the best decisions that you can and help me make the best decisions that I can. So looking for holes in Cubic's potential has actually just made me more bullish on this project. We're definitely looking at something truly unique here. There's massive interest in this project already, like huge interest. And there's a really low level of risk on this project. I mean, it's got a docs team. The creator is so well known. He's discussed this project for a long time and the main net is already up and running. And then the potential return is great. You know, the, the market cap is very low when you compare it to, to its competitors. Now, I know some would suggest that the market cap is quite high at around $600 million to $700 million, but it's actually really low when you look at what Cubic is building and how it measures up to its competitors. Most likely, the low market cap is because the market has either not caught on to how unique Cubic is, or potentially it is because they aren't, that there just isn't enough exchange listings at the moment. But it appears to be to be very undervalued in terms of of the sentiment that's out there for it and what it aims to do. And if you look at other similar projects and how they've performed just with that marketing potential and just with that kind of outlook of what they're saying they can do and what they're aiming to do, this seems to be to, to, to be really undervalued. I mean, it has the best fundamentals in all of crypto on paper. And if the, the team can even deliver on half of those fundamentals, that this is going to blow almost every other crypto project out there out, out of the water. Now, you know, the moon boy targets still might not happen, but they're possible on this this one 100x is possible from here where we're at right now now it's not guaranteed in any way but it it is actually realistically possible. It's not just a moon boy target to say this could be up at a market cap of 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 billion. But then the thing is, as we know from crypto as well, is sometimes a project can work fantastically and it just doesn't moon like you would expect it to or like it should. I mean, Quant is an example of that. XDC is an example of that. But the thing that I would just say about Cubic is it's just so marketable and so unique that it should perform really well. But as I said before, a million times, nothing is guaranteed in the crypto world, but I'm expecting this one to run quite a bit over the next year, and I expect it to at least increase in value. And who knows after that, like how, who knows how high that increase in value will be. My expectation is something like a 10x to a 50x, but higher is very possible. But again, this is crypto, that isn't guaranteed. And I don't know anything for definite. I'm just a normal person sharing my thoughts. But the more I re research this project, the more I think Cubic is the number one crypto to invest in this year. And by the way, something that you might have some questions about as well are the Cubic tokenomics, because they seem a bit wacky if you've heard about them. There's a video appearing on screen now. If you click on that video, I go into detail and I explain the Cubic tokenomics and why they're not as scary as you might think. I'll see you on the outside. <laughs>